Yep, y'all. And welcome to the new show, Music Mondays. Music Mondays is a show where now I go over some topics in music, you know, what's hot, what's not, what's popping out here in the rap game, you know what I'm saying, the beats, everything, you know what I'm saying, trying to get my little hand out there because I do do a lot of music and I love music. So I'm going to go ahead and bop it off like that. So tonight's first episode is What Happened to Rap? Me, I think what happened to rap, in my opinion, is it got saturated and it got overplayed. Um, certain aspects of rap, like the gimmicky aspects of rap, got pushed to the forefront and <clears throat> excuse me, the message got took out. Once the message got took out of rap, that's when rap just became a, a shell and it was just easy for you know anybody and everybody to come up in here. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Don't get me wrong, it is some really good rappers out here and some folks that can bop it off to the top, but there's also a nice amount of artists around here too that just don't got it. They don't gel well with the beats, they don't gel well with whatever genre they in, they just don't gel well with it. They are doing too much with too little or doing too little with way too much, you know, so Rappers became saturated in the aspect of you hear one gimmick, you hear them all. They all sound the same. If one thing can make money and one thing can get an entire group of people to buy that music, that's what you're going to hear. You're not going to hear the uplifting, get right, go ahead, get out there, do your thing, make your money, you know what I'm saying, get back to the community type vibes. You're going to hear, I got a lot of girls, I got a lot of cars, I got a lot of uh, chains. I got a lot of clothes. Nothing of it. Nothing is monetary. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of it's monetary. Sorry about that. And but nothing is is held. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is is held. All of it is something that you can just toss in the air, and it's gonna be gone. You know what I mean? It's no no assets. That's what I was meant to it was grabbing at. None of it is is putting the assets. A lot of these rappers get the money. And they get them $100,000 change. They can take that $100,000, break that down, put that $100,000 in like four or five little ventures. And next thing they know, they could be looking at multiple millions in months or years. You know what I'm saying? With the right investments, the right strategies, the right planning and everything of that nature. But what happens is they think I got to stick with the hype I gotta go with the hype I gotta go with the flow I gotta keep up with these ladies which some of them may be good but you got a nice amount of ladies out here too that see that as an opportunity they vampire the situation and suck all the lifeblood out of whoever it is that they sucking the lifeblood out of at that moment in time and next thing you know what is happening is it's done so in an aspect What happened to rap was rap went from being a shield and a voice of a group of people to basically being a marketing tool because it's everywhere. You can hear rap in McDonald's commercials. You hear rap in movies. You hear rap in video games. You hear rap in uh, schools. Not even yeah, schools sometimes. Sometimes you you might get a teacher that that might be able to relate to his students better through it so he'd be like oh you know what i'm saying i'm gonna rap today i'm gonna play some some beats right now that the, the kids can get hyped to you know in order to relate to them because even though rap is a shell music is still the overall whole and music is still thriving you know it's, it's still a booming business but for a lot of people out here music is just a tool to control a lot of younger youth especially in my community the black community so you got that combined with the simple fact that it's easy to put a couple words together combine that with the simple fact is people such as myself who can actually write music you know what I'm saying for themselves and for others and be a make it relatable and people will also pay for that and I see I'm I'm a songwriter, but I'm not a, nobody's official songwriter. But if anybody asked me to write a song for them, I 100% could because that's what I do and that's what I did when I was uh, a little bit younger. But I do, I still can do it. It's, it's 
the craft hasn't went anywhere. It has did nothing but got stronger and it's getting stronger. So, you know, if y'all need that work, I can get it out of y'all that. But um back to the topic. Uh just the whole essence of rap has been kind of shook because a lot of money has been put into it and less talent is also required to do rap. You don't really have to go hard in the pain per se. Only thing you really got to do is just basically be able to put a couple of words together, a sentence or two, and say, there you go. Put it over a, a decent trap beat, is what they call them now, not just beats. You put it over this decent trap beat, and you got a half a million to two million uh, young kids on it. You know what I'm saying? You got the what, little pumps and little skies and little mossies and blue faces and uh, the baby, the, the baby and uh, who is that? The Barbie chick. You know, you got all of them. You know what I'm saying? The Megan the Stallions. You got all of them. That's to me is what I call regurgitated rap. No disrespect to the fans of those people. You know what I'm saying? They they do what they do. I don't bash them like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just not my preference. And for some reason, that was them the type of um, artists that I could relate to this topic. So their names got through in there. It's no disrespect to them. It's just off the top of the dome and I could have thought of them. They was the ones. But um, seeing that that's the only thing you really got to do nowadays is just sit back, hoop, blah, 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 hoop. I come through, what in the car, let me scoop, 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 and I can make you a million. But you got other people like, yo, don't be wild, don't be reckless, put money away, get some investments. See, stuff like that, people here, the flower people here, they be like, ah, yeah, no, he's not talking about a chain. He's not talking about any women. I can't vibe with him. So, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. Um, to me, what happened to rap can be repaired, but it's going to take some of the OGs to come out and help repair it because these young folks not going to repair it on their own because they don't know the essence of it. So, I think if all us little OGs got together one day, you know what I'm saying, not all of us OGs got together, if enough of us got together and motivated more of us, then I think we could bring the rap forefront right back, man, and do something real special with this thing, you know? So, this is what I'm saying to all my rappers out there. If y'all gonna rap about something, stop rapping about destruction. Rap about something that's gonna help the youth and help somebody out here do something with themselves today, you know? So, I'd like to thank y'all for one, joining in this Monday and listening to me and this Music Monday, you know what I'm saying? If y'all got any suggestions, y'all can leave it in the comment box. If y'all like the video and the content, y'all can go ahead and uh, leave a like. And if y'all are new to the channel and you just like the overall appeal of it, y'all go ahead and hit the subscription button. I ain't trying to beg you to do it, but if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. And next Monday, I have something a little special for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Now that I knocked this one out the way. <clears throat> My bad once again. Now that I knocked this one out the way, I have something special for y'all next Monday. So until then, y'all be safe. Know your place. Win when you in the race. Let's get it.